Welcome everyone to another repair video. Today we will repair this 25 year old Sigma Sport BC700 bicycle computer. This is my original one that already cycled some thousands of kilometers with and why should I buy a new one when just the tiny little thing is broken. So as you see this main unit still works, just swapped the batteries, it was 10 years in the basement. Now I want to see my speed and distance and stuff again. What's broken and why probably I left it 10 years in the basement is actually the sensor. If you bike, you probably know the sensor is installed at the frame here with a magnet on the wheel and as this magnet spins it's closing this reed switch here inside this plastic. As I tested already, you can test this yourself, here just two metal pins on the back of such bicycle computers and you can just short them, right? Of course it depends on your unit and stuff, but usually they just measure continuity. So if you're on the road and you only have one screwdriver and a key or something, like your house door key, you can check if your main unit still works by just shorting these two pins with a cable or screwdriver and a key. So the main unit still works and so I measured it already. What's broken is this reed switch. So this is also a few parts and this is a sensor and inside here is a simple reed switch invented 100 years ago, 1922, is this, which you can get in separate quantities for just some cents. The most common type of reed switch contains of a pair of magnetized flexible metal reeds with end portions are separated by a small gap. The reeds are hermetically sealed within a tubular glass envelope. So while this is hermetically sealed, I guess water came in there eventually. I would also cause a little bit of a design flaw. So this was in here and to my surprise I could just open it and this is here orientation top and that is where the cable goes in right from your bike handle and so water could obviously get in there right and i don't know maybe they thought it survives 10 years certainly not 20. i mean you could install it upside down but there on the other side is still a hole like even if you follow the instructions or not you have a hole where water runs in and i guess eventually water penetrates here somehow a little bit uh, hermetically sealed but yeah apparently probably must be. Um, I measured that and it doesn't close anymore with a magnet, right? So yeah. I got here a pair of brand new reed switches. I only need one but sales unit two for one euro forty, so 70 cent a piece. I have one spare for the next time in 10 years. So we will simply desolder that, install a new one and also pro tip, I pried this open here a little bit with a knife and, and stuff. And yeah, pro tip heats this more. I didn't know how it's constructed. I thought it's maybe snapped in or something. So yeah, pro tip heats this stuff. The plastic is usually like an iPhone and then you have it easier to remove and obviously a little bit corroded. Okay, some junk. By the way, for years I used this sponge thing that comes with normal soldering stations. It's got this metal bowl desoldering stuff so much better. If you are a regular repair shop, you probably have a nice vacuum pump, but otherwise just this DIY home desoldering wick here is fine. So let's wipe this skunk here with some IPA. Then a new reed switch. the ends. Maybe tin it again just so that this end is nice in there. Just of course. And surprise. It works. Putting it back together is of course not rocket science. However I will close this top hole with glue, maybe even glue some electrical tape over it. So it's hopefully waterproof. Probably they were sinking. Um, water will not hurt it and the water that comes in here runs out at the bottom which at the bottom is a hole but I will change it now maybe it lasts in twice as long hopefully I will install it upside down have the cable at the bottom and close this here with with glue and electrical tape and, uh, and hopefully this will be fine for the next 25 or 50 years
and then of course this tiny microprocessor senses the contacts per two seconds or so and with the circumference of the tire can compute the distance and thus speed traveled. Oh.